Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Wednesday is Winnipeg coffee mug day. <laughs> As I mentioned we've got one cup now for every day of the week and I guess Winnipeg is always going to be on Wednesday now. Unless I break one of these cups or something and you know something some disaster could happen. Now uh, what do we got today? Well, right now it's cloudy, but earlier this morning it uh, it was uh, pretty pretty nice. Uh, we did have a bit of a sunrise, which I will show you. And uh, I'm kind of fi finding it difficult to to talk about something here. I, I'm having a hard time getting going in the morning. It's like it's it's going on for eleven o'clock already, and I haven't even gotten started. Well, I was busy doing other things. And I did sleep in this morning. Now, n normally what happens is, well, what, what always happens is, my alarm is set to go off at 6 o'clock in the morning. And normally, when I hear it go off, I'm already sitting at the computer checking my comments. Now, I haven't even checked the comments that rolled in last night. I don't know what's on there. I might be good, bad, ugly, who knows. And, uh, yeah, no, I did check the ones that came in right after yesterday's episode went up. I did check those. Uh, and I think I might have responded to one, I'm not sure, in the rollback. I did come back to the model table yesterday afternoon. Uh, and you'll see what I did here <laughs> in response to a comment, actually. Uh, anyway, let's, let's just sort of roll back and see how it is that we got to this place. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, why am I drilling a little hole in there? About the same size as the, the hole that's in the deck that shouldn't be there. Well, one of the viewers made a comment and I jokingly replied back, <clears throat> I'll, I'll stick a little bit of blue tack in it. And afterwards I got to thinking, well, I know that sometimes when I use blue tack when I'm spraying, and I get the, you know, the overspray comes on the whatever part, it, it seems to, at least the 56, this is the 56, it sort of seemed to work, but how would deck tan work? Let's, let's, let's just uh, very carefully here, if we can, Maybe I should put the macro lens on. I'll put the macro lens on. Now, maybe this is too big. I don't want to uh, smear it around the sides. I just want it to sort of fill the hole. You remember the hole on that deck is sort of in behind and out of the way. I think I, I would be best off using a uh, a smaller piece because that's you know that's like ten, ten times bigger than the hole. But what I'm wondering is, well, I guess a person could always sort of knead it into the hole, sort of shove it down. You know, it doesn't matter what it looks like on the other side. You know, it could look like a stalactite for all I care. No. Alright, now let's uh, get our little paintbrush and see what's going to happen here. I just brushed the entire top and it's uh, still, you might say, wet. 
and we'll see how it looks after it's had a chance to dry and sort of shrink wrap itself around the contours of the blue tack. Yeah, I'm just doing this for fun. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it or not. But hey, if it works, maybe I will. Well, needless to say, we are not going to be doing any airbrushing tonight. And both of these pieces have to be painted the uh, basically the number 66. But I was thinking afterwards, I'm wondering if there's anything else that we could also paint six, the 66. Um, all right, there is another piece that goes on top of this. And that's this one right here. So there's the uh, K3. Now, the problem is, Okay, there's, there's going to be a piece that goes on the front there, E5. That's going to have to mount on the front. Maybe we could glue that on and then just sort of do a dry fit and see how everything's going to go together. And that way the, these three pieces could all be painted at the same time. It appears to me that that is it for a lot of the, a lot of the uh, conning tower in steps 23 and 24. Um, yeah, and then we stick a whole bunch of stuff on, which which we have made, by the way. Uh, now, there is some photo etch that has to go on. Uh, and I think probably before we uh, would, would spray this part, like there's got to be uh, photo etch uh, uh, gussets, you might call them, that have to go right in here and here. And, and they should really go on before it's sprayed too. So, uh, but the um, but before we can glue this together, you see, before we can glue this together like this, there's there's got to be some some parts stuck in there. They would would be pretty hard to get them in afterwards, I think. Yeah, they they wouldn't they wouldn't want to go in that crack. If there's a couple of searchlights that have to go in here, and a couple of searchlights here. Uh, and then, uh, I think there's, I'm not sure, but there's, I think there's an anti-aircraft gun maybe goes on there. It doesn't matter. It, bottom line is, it's, it's, it has to be painted in the right order because the, the deck part of this, I don't think should be the, uh, 66 gray. I think it should be something darker. And yet on the other hand, when, when this is on, Let's see if we can get it to fit just right there. It goes just like that. And uh, when when this is on, we're not really going to see the deck. Well, you sort of, yeah, you sort of can see in there. So, I think that, uh, um, the, what's his name that's doing, that's doing the Nelson uh, uh, military modeler, Paul. Yeah, Paul. Uh, I think that Paul did some glazing there. Now, now didn't I buy the, the, uh, that, that, uh, glazing stuff that I can't think of the name of? You know what? What time we got here? It's almost eight o'clock. No wonder I can't talk. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in the morning. Now there is one more thing that I did on HMS Rodney Coffee Cup Day, and that is I went out and I replenished our bird feeder. Yeah, we won't drag this out. I just did it the same way as I've shown you several times before. Now we'll see you in the morning. Well, it is morning. But it is just barely morning. And in about, what do we got here? A little, a little less than two minutes, <laughs> I would have to say it's this afternoon. Anyway... This is dry now, and it's it's good to know, mind you, I, I kind of did know that you could paint photo etch, and it, it doesn't seem to look look any different from where it was painted over the plastic. Now I know I don't have the macro lens on. Now I I'm not going to do this. Uh, a, another viewer by the name of Barry made the comment and said something to the effect of. Um, uh, why don't you just put something that's believable over top of that hole? 
And, and that's what I'm going to do. I might have to cut a piece of sprue or something and, uh, uh, you, you know, and uh, put it down. Just a very, very small little thing, about a little bigger than a millimeter square or a millimeter in diameter or, or something like that. That's all it's going to take. Well, maybe two millimeters. Um, you know, it, it could be that one of the, these boxes... Um, yeah, the the uh, the G threes. It, it's possible that that we have an extra G three, and that that would be perfect. That would be very believable. Uh, just put it up against the side of the uh, the gun tub. Uh, I'll I'll check and see. It's possible we have an extra one. Okay, what I'm looking for right now is G threes, and. Uh, they're the kind of thing that more or less gets put on a lower deck. So there's a lot of pages here where there won't be any, but there could be some here. We're in, uh, way up to step 33 right now. There's nothing here. Okay, here we need two G3s and here we need, so here's the two sets, so three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need at least, we need at least seven more G3s and we have eleven. Now it could be that, you know, I, I missed one and as I methodically go through the steps I'll, I'll realize it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'll leave it until last. I won't stick one down now, only to find out I need it in a much more important place later. So, uh, yeah. Thanks Barry for the idea. Good idea. Now a moment ago I was going to say something like, we've done everything we can do on step 23. And then when I was looking at these searchlights, uh, the F-21s that have to go down in, into these little holes right here, uh, I, I was realizing that they are not the same searchlights that we made a couple of months ago, which are these ones right here. They're, they're smaller than this. Uh, uh, they're these ones right here. So we got to get these off and get them uh, uh, painted. And, uh, and also the F7s, which are the binoculars, um, they're also somewhere here on the, on the uh, F sprue. We'll, we'll find them. And, uh, yeah, where are those F7s? Did we nip them off already? Well, we'll, we'll find them, don't worry. Okay, I have found our F7s. And uh, when I, f well, first of all, the reason I didn't see them is because they, they were smaller than what I thought they were. I'd remembered them when we did these binoculars. Like this, this is a, is a binocular right here that I'm just touching right now. Maybe I'll, I'll do one of the center ones. Okay, this is the binocular. Uh, and if you see it from the other side, you'll, you'll recognize it as, as a binocular. And then this part right here is the pedestal that it's that it stands on. And then this this part that I'm just touching right now is the peg that goes into the deck. And it has to be cut off. Let me try not to move it here. Right 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 there. Okay. So it has to be cut off there. Uh, and it also has to be cut off right here. And uh I was thinking maybe I'll leave the parts on the sprue paint them on the sprue. People are always telling me I paint my parts when they're on the sprue. But I want you to notice how, how much flashing there is on, on the sides here that I've got to try and scrape off um, before we do any painting. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave them. 
basically attached to the sprue. Maybe I'll maybe I'll cut the sprue off, you know, like here and and over here and uh, and leave it as one big section. Now now let's go take a look at the uh, the searchlights. Okay, here's our searchlights, the F21s. Now they're much the same. I'll just move in a little bit closer. Okay, there appears to be less flashing on the searchlights. There's uh, little things on the sides here, but I believe that that is actually supposed to stay on. That's some sort of a represent a control of some kind. So here again, the searchlight gets nipped off right there at the bottom of the peg. And this this piece at the top, right here, that we, in other words, we don't nip it off here to make the searchlight round. We leave this thing on the top here, and we cut it right there, right where the tip of the blade is. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably, you know, I'll cut it. I'll cut it off up here, and and then I'll also cut it off and leave these three all attached attach together and try and, you know, get the flashing off and paint them while they're attached to the sprue and then I will later, when I when I go and need them, I'll just nip nip them off right there and of course being the, the bottom of the peg isn't going to be painted of course, but, but who cares, it's stuck in the hole. Okay, I was able to uh, nip off the uh, binoculars here and uh, the reason I could get them out of this, the entire sprue is because whatever was attached down here, we used it up. However, to do the same sort of thing with the searchlights, there's, there's parts still attached to this runner right here. And uh, yeah, so this isn't, isn't going to work. So I think what I'm going to have to try to carefully do is cut this right here and then leave everything attached right to this main sprue and, and do it that way. But you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut today's episode off. Um, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I got a coffee visitor. And it, it's later than you think right now. Uh, yeah, I haven't done too much today, I'm afraid. But uh, probably we'll go at it again uh, later this afternoon or this evening. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning.